Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is a little bit of an early look at their brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label store exclusives. The first one being a trip to the old Walmart store to continue on with their DC vs. Vampires line. We have the Vampire Green Lantern, which looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. And I like the artwork on the box because you get to see the cover that they're deriving this there figure for, right? And you have the barcode if you want to screen grab it and start looking for them on shelves. Now, along with the Walmart gold label exclusive Black Lightning, this one hailing from Final Crisis, which, hey, that's pretty darn cool, even though the artwork on the back side of the box doesn't match the figure. We've been there, done that. And here's the barcode for Black Lightning as well. So to go from Walmart to now Target, we have a pair of Supergirl gold label exclusives. The first one being the standard version, which is basically the usual look for Supergirl. And she does look pretty good, but we got some problems to talk about, unfortunately. This one hailing from DC Rebirth. And on the back side of the box, you get a good look at the artwork, which is pretty close to the figure, minus big glaring omission. And here's the barcode as well if you want to start looking for her on store shelves. Now, on the flip side of things, we have the gold label Platinum Edition Supergirl, which is basically Supergirl from the CW in her colors. We'll just say this one... I'm not going to open. In fact, I'm going to give it to a friend of mine who has been looking for it. And I will tell you, as you'll watch the video, you'll understand why I chose not to open this. And I will be giving it to a friend who genuinely wants it. Now, the back side of the box is going to be the exact same as will the barcode. It'll be randomly popping up on any Target store shelf as a platinum gold label exclusive. Say that all in one go. So... In the meantime, I want you to sit back, I want you to relax, I want you to grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at several brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label exclusives by McFarlane Toys. And let's just be glad they're not doing any more Kmart store exclusives in this day and age, right? But while I got you guys here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates... Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, you get all of the figures. Take out all those little plastic things. And you got three figures, which look pretty cool, I have to say. The first one we'll talk about is Black Lightning. And I like what they did here. You have effect hands with some electricity. So, they kind of mirror one another. You have the normal gloved hand outstretched. And you have the electrical hand outstretched and then you have the fisted hand and you have the electrical fisted hand along with a really cool looking black lightning figure i like that they didn't go too crazy with the texturing it is largely a superhero suit minus all those ridiculous lines the belt is kind of mcfarlane adding a little bit more detail maybe than they should have even though in some aspects it's kind of variations of black lightning at least with the lightning bolts but not the belt belt but i'm glad they put that on there because it breaks up the crotch pocket you have peg holes on the bottom nice treads nice boots nice details we'll just say that go along the arms and the legs but i like the upper body articulation i think that that looks good i think that that might be new if i'm not mistaken plenty of rotation in the head you do get some decent ab crunch on this i like this right this would be a good body I think for Superman, I think that that would be fairly Superman-ish, right? You get him to kick out. He's got double-jointed knees. It's nothing crazy. It's the usual type of McFarlane Toys articulation, but just done a little bit better than some recent figures, we'll say. And I really like the head portrait, and I love the effect pieces from the fisted hand to the open electrical hand. Now, in terms of DCs and vampires, you have the Green Lantern vampire this is of course hal jordan i like that they don't go too close to the source material i'm kind of the opposite on this because they can have a lot of fun that head portrait is tremendous that is gnarly it's cool i love the transparent hair the green glowing fire effects that he has on his back and on his hand they did give this prior released hal jordan slash 
John Stewart Green Lantern a makeover in many ways. Like he has new hands with fingernails in the gloves. However, that works, right? <laughs> Who cares? Doesn't matter. I like what they're doing here with these DC versus vampires. And I particularly love this clip on effect. It's an actual clip on effect. I've been asking for clip on effects. I totally dig that. So, yes, it's utilizing an old Bonnie, but they've added parts and pieces enough to kind of differentiate it, I would say. And I will tell you that the green particle effects really make a difference. Otherwise, it would just look like that, and that is boring. Like, that is just blah, right? You pop the fire effect clip-ons, and you've really elevated your figure here. So, again, it doesn't exactly match the source material because, to be honest... It's kind of boring, but they've really elevated the DC versus vampires here with some blood and some teeth and some total carnage, which I totally appreciate, especially now that we're finally into October. So this one for me, definite pickup. This one is a lot of fun. Now, to go from having fun to, uh, man, I, I can't believe this happened again. I'm glad they gave Supergirl a stand. We'll say that. Supergirl herself. When I saw this, I was like, yes, heck yeah, that looks great. And you know what? The head portrait really does look good. I like the hair. I like everything about it, right? Nice paint, nice eyes, nice lips, everything. She even has a cloth cape. More of that, please. But if you saw my Toy Fair video when I walked around the McFarlane booth with Todd McFarlane, he did say that the new Dune figures have a bendy wire stitched into the cape. And I said, well, you should do that for DC Multiverse. And you know what? I think that at the price point for 20 bucks, probably not going to happen. That kind of wired cape is expensive, but the collector's editions, 30 bucks, I would like to see that happen most definitely. She has a really nice S shield right there on her chest. The hair, the cape, it gets a little bit muddled. You're not going to be able to make her look up, unfortunately, nor look down. Maybe side to side, but that's about it. You can get the arms going all the way up. She's got biceps. She's got double jointed elbows. And she has the wrists with sculpted wrist articulation, right? Like we've seen with more modernish McFarlane DC multiverse. Now, the ab crunch, if anything, kind of helps with making her fly, even though you can't get the head up. She'll swivel, kind of, sort of, not really crunch, and she has a waist. The legs, because of the skirt piece, will hinder it going up any further. She's got double jointed knees, and she has just antiquated at this point ball joints at the feet which i'm just like man that's a step backwards why are we doing that she's also got toe and of course peg holes on the bottom the one big problem is that the thigh boots go all the way up but there is no thigh right the whole flesh color is missing now i will say this i was initially told that yes there will be some thigh color in there alas on the final version it is no dice, right? And not to be gross and not to be weird, but I'm simply pointing it out that, yeah, that's what you're kind of working with. That's the iconic look for this type of Supergirl. Now, potentially for you customizers out there, you can take her apart at the waist, which I thought this might work. Maybe even I could do it. But no, uh, the skirt piece is glued in. Plus she has a really weird crotch piece. The whole thing is a mishigash. It's kind of like, do over, right? It's just not going to work. The skirt piece is entirely too long. Anyways, it's covering way too much of the thigh and the boot. So I'm going to be honest with you. This is once again, a miscolored canopy Batmobile situation. And I'm going to tell you flat out, no, I won't recommend getting this. I will say, unless you just absolutely have to have this. Sure. But no, don't buy it. Because once again, we're in a situation where they did not do the due diligence to make sure this type of thing happened. I can forgive the, the antiquated ball joints and whatnot, but this again, it's another mistake on otherwise a very cool looking Supergirl. It's a bummer through and through. If you were wondering though about the scale, see everything aside about the miscolored boots again, she scales really nicely with Batman, Superman, her cousin, it's these problems, though, at this point, year four for McFarlane Toys, I feel like these are problems we should not be running into anymore. And if you're wondering about Black Lightning, he's going to be a little bit taller than the Superman 1000, but I think he scales well with Supergirl and this new Nightfall Batman. Through and through, 
I would say we just really need a new updated Superman. For the DC versus Vampires Green Lantern, you can have some fun. You can really put these with anything. You can kind of concoct a story in your head. Or you can simply just have Supergirl dying in the arms of Superman because the Anti-Monitor just uh, annihilated her. But like I said... With the flight stand, which I'm very happy that they included, you can have her kind of sort of flying, right? The articulation kind of limits that. She can go up against Doomsday. And how cool would that have been for an alternate head portrait, right? Even this as a variant, which scared the heck out of me as a kid. I had no idea what was going on. I do now, but in terms of the DC versus Vampires, Green Lantern, and the rest of the cavalcade of Vampires... That looks pretty darn cool. So again, this one in particular really stands out to me because it's a lot of fun. It's perfect timing for the spooky Halloween season to go from Batman, Joker, Green Lantern now, and Superman. And you can even throw a man bat in there just as the Prince of Darkness himself, perhaps it is Dracula. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at several of the brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label Store exclusives. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarlane Toys for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to tell you again, through and through, besides the color of the suit, there's really no difference between the Supergirls, right? One's comic book and one is the CW show. However, both of them are missing that flesh tone. And as we've all been there for the most part, right, with the Batmobile miscolored canopy, it's really just, there is no more, oh man, well, we'll just let this go, whatever. No, these are mistakes, especially in year four, that I truly believe we should not be seeing. Now, I know, and I understand, certain things happen. It's out of your control, right? It's human mistakes. But... If we've seen the Batmobile get re-released, then I would say perhaps we might see the Supergirl re-released with proper paint. So, yes, again, I would say pass and let them know that it has to be good in order to buy it. Otherwise, no, there's really no point in grabbing it. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always... Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to DC versus vampires, I'm having a blast. Especially since it's the Halloween season, keep bringing on the monsters. This is a lot of fun. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.